finally, last units that we have are two of these uh, war elephants. So they do look pretty insane, man. I would not want to uh, have those guys run at me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? My name is Hamdog CDXX, and today, guys, I am bringing you an online battle from the Medieval Kingdom's 1212 AD mod for Total War Attila. Guys, I really want to bring some more 1212 content to the channel, so if you want to see some specific factions on the channel, make sure to let me know in the comments section below which factions you would like to see, and I'll make sure to get a battle with them in. But anyway, today, guys, we have the Cuman Carnet facing up against the Ilkenet Horde, so let's go ahead and get straight into the army comps uh, so this battle is gonna kick off uh, pretty soon so I'm just gonna quickly rush over them uh, so in the front lines for the humans guys we have six units of these bay archers and they are pretty OP they are heavy uh, archer infantry so they should rack up a lot of kills against the Ilkin Horde and then uh, in behind those we have six units of spear militia uh, so these guys are pretty cheap, but their main job is just to soak up the enemy crossbow ammo. Uh, and then if we move behind them as, again, we've got six units of these Kipchak swordsmen. Uh, so these guys are fairly well armoured, but uh, they're not going to do too well against heavy melee infantry. Because uh, they are only medium. However, uh, this is a fairly low money battle, so only 23,000 uh, for each player. Uh, and it is on large armies as well. Uh, and then in behind the swordsmen, we have eight units of these axemen. And these axemen are pretty insane, if you ask me, because they can all carry five missile weapons each, guys. So we have eight units of them. So if they all manage to get their missiles off, then uh, we should get a lot of kills with these guys. Uh, these are one of my favorite units in the game, simply because of that, uh, that missile uh, the amount of ammo that they've got. Uh, so if we move behind the Axemen, got two ranks of the Axemen. So move, move behind those, we've got two units of Moldavian warriors at the rear, uh, just to you know help support the flank if we need to. We can send them over. Uh, so these guys fairly cheap, but they are uh, they're just uh, an extra line of infantry for us. And then at the very back, we have one unit of these heavy mace men. So these are the best infantry that the Cumans can bring, but unfortunately I do only have one of them uh, due to the fact that it's a pretty low money battle. Then for the general guys, we have a Master Horse Archer unit. Uh, he should be in the middle here. <laughs> yeah, he looks pretty cool with his uh, crazy mask with the moustache on as well. Yeah, it looks a bit insane. And then I've also got uh, six units of these heavy Cossacks. Uh, so they are going to be pretty deadly if I can get some nice uh, some nice flanking charges off and apparently we get an ambush or something and then I've also got two units of these light horse archers one unit of each on uh, each flank uh, but that's pretty much it for my army so if we take a look at the enemy army they're bringing the Ilkhanit horde are bringing six units of this Persian foran uh, forsan sorry uh, so yeah, you can just see the massive horde of Cav over here. You can see where they get the name from. Uh, that is definitely a, a worry for me, as I've only got four units of Cav over on that flank. Uh, if we take a look at the remainder of the army. Uh, so he's got six units of this, basically peasants, uh, but the Ilkhanit version called Karsh. Uh, so yeah, they are just going to be sent straight in and just get, you know, shot to pieces probably. Uh, and then in behind them, we have, uh, I believe, six units of this Georgian infantry. Uh, so again, a, um, it's medium spear infantry yet, so they should hold up, uh, you know, fairly well against my infantry. Uh, however, I am uh, trying to get him to, uh, you know, come to my line, seeing as I have a bit more of a defensible position with the, you know, the water line kind of running around my men. Uh, and then in behind the Georgian infantry, we have, I uh, believe... He's got around 10 units of this Tabgur, so it's, uh, again, medium melee infantry. It is tier 2, which is better than all of my units. All of mine are only tier 1. Uh, and yeah, he's got a lot of these guys, so they are pretty solid infantry 
uh, and he's gone with a fair amount of them. Uh, and then in the back lines as well, we also have three units of these Persian foot soldiers. Uh, and I believe they are uh, the slight... Oh, no, sorry. I may be getting that wrong. No, I'm not. So he's got three units of the Persian foot soldiers over there. So, yeah, uh, these are only tier one. However, I do believe they'll do pretty well as shock infantry. Uh, down to the, you know, sort of splice sword that they've got. It looks pretty epic. Uh, anyway, so taking a look at the missile units for the enemy, they've got, I believe, six units of these siege crossbowmen. Uh, not in a siege battle, but, you know, I guess uh, you could say this was a siege army being redeployed to meet the uh, enemy force. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the enemy. Uh, they have the general over here, Halugu Khan. Uh, oh, sorry, Halugu ha Hulu, Hulagu, Hulagu Khan, there we go. Oh man, that took me a minute to get around. And then finally, last units that we have are two of these uh, war elephants. So they do look pretty insane, man. I would not want to uh, have those guys run at me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I think the battle is about to kick off. Yes, so the battle is going to kick off, guys, with a massive peasant charge. So let's just go ahead and take a look at all of these peasants just get absolutely rinsed by the archer fire. Uh, the bay archers were actually on heavy shot, but oh my goodness. And yet they're all just going to rout already. Let's see if they catch another volley. We've still got some over on that side moving in. And yet they're all just going to turn around and run back. Let's just take a look at how many men died from that assault. Looks like almost half. Uh, in each unit, maybe not over the here, but you can definitely see how this unit in the center was focused down pretty early. But they are still getting a little close uh, for comfort. I'm not really uh, wanting to waste all of my ammo on these guys. That's definitely his plan to get me to waste all of my ammo. Uh, and it did kind of work. You can see I've fired many shots off and I'm actually going to have to pull back. Just as this unit gets to the front lines, though, they're actually going to break. And uh, we've got a few of the uh, bay archers out here just cutting up the peasants. Four, four or five of them fighting in a circle. Pretty epic. Oh, my goodness. And, yeah, also uh, some of the peasants managed to get into the spear line. So um, quickly formed sh uh, square. And then I've decided that seeing as he's bringing all of his crossbows out... I'm going to go ahead and start committing my Spear Militia, uh, same as he did uh, with his peasants. We're going to send up our, you know, less costly infantry to sort of soak up the ammo and try and scare them off. However, all of his uh, cars units were completely free, uh, seeing as it's a horde faction. They can just bring these guys onto the field uh, for absolutely nothing. However, they aren't a very solid unit. Uh, so over here, we're about to have a massive infantry charge from uh, the uh, Spear Militia into the Georgian Infantry. Just waiting on the order. You can see the amount of Archer Fire coming in from both sides is pretty insane. And uh, we've got some of the Tabga moving up as well. And here comes the charge. They're going to charge in and we're going to counter charge all along the line. And just look how epic this battle is starting off, guys. Uh, we've still got the Archer Fire coming in. This line is just absolutely enormous, goes on for ages guys, and it is just an absolute bloodbath. So many of the Spear Militia will be falling to the uh, Georgian Infantry just because uh, the Georgian Infantry were in a shield wall formation and also they are uh, a lot heavier uh, in terms of the amount of armor that they've got. Uh, but the Spear Militia is doing a fair amount of damage, you know, to the hit points of the Georgian Infantry, which is nice. And it is holding them in place so that I can get some nice shots off with my Bay Archers. Especially seeing as the crossbows are going to struggle to fire over their own men. Uh, but yeah, those Spear Militia just aren't going to be able to hold up against, my, uh, against the Georgian Infantry. Over here we've got a bit of a standoff with the Cav. I don't know if they're going to charge in or not. Uh, come on guys, give us a charge. If they do charge in, this spear unit will just get absolutely destroyed. So yeah, I'm going to pull it back. But yeah, it looks like the elephants are going to try and uh, catch me out. Uh, hopefully, 
these spears can be saved by maybe some archer fire. Maybe we can shoot these elephants. It uh, would definitely help. But no, it looks like they're going to go ahead and crash straight into the line. Didn't get the best charge off, but they're going to knock out a fair amount of men. And then they're going to go straight for uh, the Kishback Swordman in the flank as well. So I'm going to have to redeploy a unit over there. And you can just see that absolute carnage is about to break out. Uh, the enemy cav is starting to flank around. And you can see this elephant unit is getting deep into my archers. And uh, I'm just going to have to try and return fire. You can see I'm taking out a lot of the elephants at this point. Seeing as they're completely surrounded by archers. Uh, I've literally just got everybody refocused on them. Got these swords. That Look at this unit of Kishback swordmen that got charged. They have lost uh, 51 men. And there goes the last elephant as well. Uh, we do have a bit of a flank over here as well, which is kind of uh, being exposed by this tag player unit. However, we have our uh, Khan's Guardsmen over here as well as a unit of swords, so they should be able to hold. Uh, over on the Cav flank, you can see I'm sending over what remains of my Spear Militia, uh, just to try and possibly help out in that, in that battle. Uh, but the main line has now completely committed. I've got my Axemen in the front trying to throw off uh, the Peeler. If not, they're just going to hold in Shield Wall. Let's see if we can get some of the fighting up close. Oh, this guy's just getting prodded by five guys and he's still going. I don't know if he's going to get tucked down. Come on, I can't watch you forever. Get a kill or die already. Looks like we've got some more of the uh, Ilkana infantry moving up as well to support. Which is definitely a good call, seeing as my Axemen are holding fairly well. Uh, if we take a look over at the Cav side, though, I believe the Cav battle, yeah, it's just managed to start. So we've got the Spear Militia trying to run in, but they're going to get countercharged in the last second. And, uh, ooh, some big hits from the Archers as well. Uh, it looks like I've redeployed two units of Archers uh, to take out the Cavalry. Uh, but... They've definitely noticed that, so I'm going to have to try and pull them back. This cavalry is starting to get uh, in and around. They did have a couple more units. So what I'm doing is I'm sending over all of the cav from the other flank, seeing as the enemy didn't have any. Uh, and yet, as you can see, this cavalry is now straight in behind my lines. And they're going to go straight in for the bay archers, a few of them making it. But you can just see absolutely getting destroyed by this archer fire. Few of them getting into the ranks of my men. Not going to be enough to really cause a problem. Uh, you can see this unit probably just broke from that charge though. Which is a little bit of a shame. Only one or two units making it in. This unit's routing as well. Looks like it should be able to come back. Uh, but yeah, at the moment the balance of power is down. Uh, I still have the man count. Seeing as I wrecked all of his uh, uh, you know, free peasants at the start. That's where the man counts come from. However, you can see it is now in the Ilkinet favour, so uh, I'm a little bit worried at this point. As you can see, pretty much all of my infantry is committed, apart from the Moldavian warriors and the heavy macemen. Over here, we've got a bit of a problem in the main line as well. It looks like a little bit of a group of enemies have managed to flank around. Uh, it looks like we're slowly dealing with that. Uh, these archers are now actually getting caught up in combat as well, which is a shame. They did get to use up most of their ammo. Uh, but yeah, you can see this right flank is just completely failing. Uh, we have three or four units now just getting locked up and they're going to be able to get their elephants around and stuff like that. Uh, over on the calf battle though, we are kind of holding up all the enemy calf now that I've brought over the reinforcing calf from the right flank. Uh, you can see we've got the uh, horse archers as well, uh, getting some nice rear shots into the Persian uh, uh, comms. Forsan was it? Persian Forsan. Uh, but yeah, I'm managing to bring up all of the cav that I need now. And it looks like these guys are going to get a heavy charge into the back of the Persian cavalry. And yeah, you can just see with the archer fire coming as well. Oh my god, guys. Uh, oh my goodness. There is so many deaths on the battlefield today. See that man toppled off his horse. Uh, this unit of cavalry did look. It looks like I actually got charged in the side as well. Uh, but I'm starting to break this unit over here with the help of the uh, Spear Militia. And I've also got a Cantor Ribbon Circle, I do believe it's called, uh, going on here. So they're just going to run around in a circle, firing off their shots. 
Let's see if we can get a better position here. Oh man, that does look pretty epic. I don't really know why they're not shooting too much, but yeah, it looks like they're kind of getting bunched up a bit. Uh, but yeah, guys, it looks like we're starting to get the upper hand on the Cav flank. I've got another one of these uh, circles going on over here. Uh, probably getting a bit of friendly fire. However, we do need to wrap up the cavalry flank as quick as possible because over at the infantry line, you can just tell how badly we are doing. Uh, we're really thinning out now to meet a line of between one or two men. Uh, these two guys sort of fighting back to back, trying to stay alive. Uh, but yeah, this entire flank is going to fall to the enemies. As you can see, it is just about to rout. This spear unit is about to get caught out as well. And yeah, our entire main line has just broken. Uh, however, you can see there's eight minutes left in the battle, though, uh, and the battle's kind of now split up into two parts. So you've got the main enemy force and then the sort of resistance that they've sent forward. Uh, the calf battle is pretty much over at this point. We have managed to win. Looks like I'm going to manage to get one last nice charge off with this unit into the back of them. Hopefully. Yeah, here we go. Oh, and I've clicked off it. That is classic of me in Total War, guys. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Every time, guys. No, it doesn't matter. So if we take a look, uh, the enemy infantry, it looks like they're going to start to pull back and reform. We do have our one unit of uh, spear militia. Oh, sorry. This is a card guardman, actually. have actually pushed out, and they've been completely surrounded. Uh, and with the help of the enemy general as well, they're actually going to rout. Uh, so at this point, I'm just trying to clean up the calf battle again. Still got one unit holding on, which is a bit frustrating. Uh, and I'm just trying to, uh, you know, get some nice flanking charges into these two units to break those as well. Looks like I'm just about going to manage it. Uh, and yet, yeah, at the moment, guys, we are all just going to form up uh, and reform so that we'll go at it one more time. You can see the man count is uh, not in my favour anymore. The enemies have about 200 more men than us. However, the enemy uh, are completely out of cav, uh, excluding their general. But, you know, he doesn't just want to send this general into battle if he doesn't need to. Uh, so if we take a look at what's left of the armies uh, in the front line, we still got a little bit of Georgian infantry and some Persian foot soldiers uh, for the Ilkhanids. And we do actually have a secondary line of some more tag bear as well, which are waiting in reserve. And then he still has all of his crossbow units left with still a, you know, a really, uh, really good amount of ammo left. So they are probably my main worry at this point. However, as I say, if I can use my cavalry correctly, uh, get some nice flanking charges off, I may be able to pull this one back into my favor. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for his army that's left over. He's still got his general who's been untouched. And then for my army, guys, I still have all of my archers left uh, apart from one unit, uh, but they are almost completely out of ammo, and it looks like they're actually wasting it on routing troops, which is a bit annoying. I think any moment now I will take them off fire at will. Uh, and then in the front line, I've still got, I believe, uh, three units of infantry, still got the heavy maceman, uh, one unit of Moldavian warriors, and one unit of Kiss Pashak swordsmen, which are both. Uh, fairly depleted. I, I'm sorry about the the pronunciation in this. Uh, you know, it's it's, it's uh, yeah, it, that's one of the Kipchak. <laughs> I keep messing that one up. Uh, but yeah, in behind, guys, I still have one unit of Khan's Guardmen, which I'm going to save at the back just in case the enemy general decides to try and get around our flank. I can commit the spears into him. Uh, and then our general as well has still got 34 men in his unit left, so he's doing fairly well. He's uh, probably got a fair amount of kills as well by now. Uh, if we take a look at his stats. Yeah, he's got 89 kills and he's only lost 6 men. So he's doing pretty well. And as I say, I still have uh, a fair amount of cav left. Still got 4 units of the heavy Cossacks. And both of my light uh, horse archers as well. Uh, so what I've gone for, for, for my formation. I'm still just about forming up. Uh, I've got the archers in the front who are now firing and I've uh, gone ahead and put the infantry in behind with the cav on the flanks. Uh, so you can see uh, my main line of infantry is down to, what? well, two lines of infantry now. So it is getting pretty dire, this situation. Uh, 
Uh, it looks like the enemy are going to start pushing up now, though. There's only four minutes left in the battle, guys. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, the Ilkana player was telling me while he was playing that his main goal was to try and, uh, you know, neutralize all of my ammo for my archers, first of all. And then he was going to use all of his crossbows to take out my cavalry. Uh, he was pretty, pretty explain explaining his plan, you know, fairly openly. Uh, so what I've gone to do is my archers are out of ammo now. So the first step of his plan has worked. Uh, I'm charging my ammo, my, my archers in now to try and waste up the enemy crossbow ammo. However, they do still have a fair amount of ammo left anyway. So I'm going to get a nice charge into this unit of uh, Georgian infantry. But these bay archers are fairly heavy. But oh my god, I didn't think I had much ammo left. But I still had enough to wreck uh, my own men. Uh, these bay archers, it looks like they actually managed to break that unit of spears, uh, which is nice. And then it looks like they're actually going to break as well. So uh, a, a pretty cost-effective unit to manage to go ahead, use all the ammo and break some depleted units. But you can see all hell is just about to break loose over on this flank. The horse archers can just run so fast that I'm just going to manage to get them in behind the enemy lines uh, and to start firing their ammo off. Put the hood on just so you can sort of get a better view of what's going on. Uh, this cavalry kind of got caught up, but I managed to pull them through. And here comes a nice charge inside the uh, enemy ranks. They've we managed to outflank their swords enough to get them panicking a bit. Uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and commit the Moldavian warriors into battle. Looks like we've got another big charge coming up over on this side, hopefully. Oh yes, guys, going to go straight into this infantry of the Ilkina Horde and just completely wiping the majority of them out. Uh, you can see I've got my uh, Khan's Guardmen pushing up into the main line now. Uh, they're going to clash with the Persian foot soldiers that are trying to catch my general off guard. Uh, I believe soon enough I'll have to send these archers into battle as well. If we have a look over on the other flank, not too much is happening. Uh, the horse archers are getting some shots off. Uh, and the cavalry is just kind of uh, keeping some of the infantry occupied over here so that they can't reinforce the line. Uh, over here, looks like I've got what, uh, all of my infantry has pretty much remained. Uh, the Moldavian warriors have run off, but they were caught on this flank with a few units. These heavy mace men, though, take a look at their stats. 66 killed and they've lost 5 men, but it looks like they're about to get a bit of a charge in the side from the enemy general, which is a shame. Uh, but at this point, it is completely necessary for his general to go into battle. And uh, now that his general's in combat, I can go ahead and get my horse archers to charge in to these men uh, in the flanks. Uh, and the general is occupied, so he can't really come and help out. Uh, so now that I've got those crossbows tied up, I'm bringing in the shock cav as well to wipe out the rest of the enemy infantry. Still got this unit of shock cav uh, remaining. Down to a minute left in the battle, guys, and you can see the man count is neck and neck. It's down to pretty much the last 250 men for each of the uh, forces. However, I say, just the fact that I've got cavalry just gives me that bit of an edge that I can get around the enemy and uh, manage to get some nice flanking charges off as well. You can see the general's actually used up pretty much all of his ammo at this point as well, so that's uh, definitely good for us. Uh, these heavy mace men are starting to uh, pile up kills against the Tabgar as well. Going to send in the last of the archers to sort of just help out on that flank. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, you can tell but at this point that that is going to be a win for the Cumans. And I was so happy to win this battle, guys. Uh, it was pretty close. And uh, yeah, I didn't think I was going to win. But if we just take a quick look all over the battlefield guys before this battle ends just look how many dead soldiers there are all over the place uh on every side of the battlefield guys it's pretty insane how many men died here today uh yeah <laughs> but anyway guys let's check out the stats for the kills uh oh my goodness guys you can see there that my general has got 156 kills i uh, managed to rank himself up he didn't actually lose too many of his men as well the Spear Militia, they did what they needed to do. They absorbed the ammo. They got a few kills. Uh, the Khan's Guardmen didn't do too well. However, one of the units got caught up and the other one was uh, still left over at the end. So they, again, did what they needed to do. Moldavian Warriors, I didn't expect much of them. 
Uh, the Axemen underperformed a little bit simply because they didn't really get a chance to throw the missile weapon off, which was a really good play uh, by MBM5. Uh, you know, getting into combat with me before I could manage to throw the peeler. Uh, and the heavy mace men, uh, yeah, again, they were only left till the end and they racked up 80 kills in the last like two minutes of the battle. Uh, so they are pretty OP. They are just getting, you know, fairly, uh, fairly good across the board. 100 kills each. Remember, this is on 80 units per, uh, 80 men per unit. Uh, it's on medium unit size. Uh, that's just because I was uh, trying to record a siege battle as well. Uh, so <laughs> that is going to be coming to the uh, channel soon. I've got a nice siege battle for my new historical battle series, guys. So make sure to check that out when it comes up. Uh, but anyway, guys, yeah, that's pretty much it. My Cav, uh, not too many kills across the board. However, they did win the Cav battle, which was completely what I needed from them. And this uh, cheap light horse archer's unit as well, getting so many kills for its uh, for its price. Very cost effective. Uh, for MBM5's army, uh, for the Ilkanuts, uh the general doing fairly well, seeing as he didn't really get into combat until the very end of the battle. The Georgian infantry... You know, not really holding up as well as they would need to. You can see some of my spear militias even done better than the majority of the Georgian infantry. Uh, this course, you know, not much to say about them. They, but they did uh, soak up about four volleys from each of my archer units. Uh, so, yeah, that was, you know, I guess you could say uh, pretty cost the festive scene. As these are all absolute, uh, absolutely free. Uh, his Persian foot soldier is doing fairly well, uh, but his Tabka, the main meat of his uh, of his army, just ripping through my spear militia and my axemen, uh, and you know the rest of my infantry just got completely wrecked by his. Uh, his crossbows doing okay, not too well, seeing as they kind of still had most of their ammo left uh, at the end of the battle. Uh, you can see definitely how my bay archers managed to rack up a fair amount more kills. Uh, and the enemy cav as well. Unfortunately, uh, in this battle, uh, the Ilkhanate cavalry kind of just got caught behind enemy lines. And that's what allowed me to, you know, get round the flanks uh, and manage to wrap the battle up. His elephants, however, one of them doing really well, which managed to get some nice charges at the end of the battle. However, the first one just got absolutely wrecked by archer fire. Uh, so, yeah, guys, that was a pretty insane battle, uh, right down to the last 200 men of the Cuman Carnet. But well, anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed the battle. Make sure to comment which factions you would like me to play next. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, my name is Hamdog and I'll see you later. Yeah.